Hello everyone, this is Noemi Banki and I'm talking from Sydney, Australia and because today is a special, is a special day today is um, Archangel Michael Day and for this reason we are celebrating an event, an international event 24 hours with um, Archangel Michael and well, uh, this uh, this event started one hour ago in Argentina uh, with Filomena Marasco, and it will continue um, each hour with an activity until tomorrow at one p.m. And well, we, uh, this event uh, you will see that there are different activities, different languages, Spanish. Italian, Portuguese, and uh, French, French, and also English, of course. <laughs> so, shall we start? Let me tell you something. I warn you, because this is not an activity that you are only watching, and that's it. No. This activity uh, will require your participation. So, are you willing to participate? You, you are going to decree with me because this is the objective. This is the goal for today. Let's do that. Well, this is the, um, the title. Today we are going to study Archangel Michael, the defender of the faith. Okay, first of all, I want to say thank you to His Excellency Sir Ruben Cedeño, Baron of Luercy, because, well, he is the person, he is the head, visible head of all the metaphysical groups in the world. And also I want to thank to uh, Fernando Cantigoto, uh, because, well, he is the person who organized all the whole event and all the facilitators who works on this beautiful uh, day. So, oh yeah, of course, I don't want to forget that because this is very important. What I'm going to say is not my, there's not my words. These words are by Ruben Cedeño, Pillars of Metaphysics. And also we are going to talk a little bit of service or services. And uh, the I Am Discourse by Godfrey Ray King. Divine Virtues by Sandra Mann, and also we are going to see a little bit of uh, definitions by the, the Cambridge Dictionary. And this is news, news, because we have, um, I think yesterday, um, we have uh, available um, the book Daily Meditations. It's available, is available. Uh, well, you can you can search because maybe you can search on uh, Amazon, Kobo as well. Um, yes, it's, it's something new. So thank you, Father. <laughs> and also Metaphysics by uh, Ruben Cedeño. And uh, let me tell you that the daily meditations is by Thomas Prince. Okay. Well, the definition of metaphysics, well, because we talk a lot about metaphysics. Metaphysics means beyond physics. Everything that is real of very real existence, which is not tangible or visible, we cannot touch metaphysics as the inner or the psych psychological world of every person philosophical considerations, thoughts, feelings, and virtues. In practice, it's a rational, logical, and sensible philosophy of life. So, why I bring the, the definition? Because we, the title is The Defender of the Faith. So we are, we are foc focused on the faith. Oh, we are talking about this virtue. And when people listen to, yeah, faith, they, uh, they have misconceptions about this virtue. 
And for this reason, it's very important to know what does it mean. So, and also, I bring the words by uh, Nora Belen Vasquez Toledo de Cedeño to remember. We are in metaphysics to believe in what nobody does. Because usually, Oh, I don't know in other countries, but in, in Australia, almost everything starts with policies and procedures of safety. So what we have to do and the implementation and then evaluation of uh, the procedure is correctly. And is almost the first thing. So for, the, uh, for example, the other day I, I went to take an exam and the first thing they they ex they explained was about this the um, the the procedure to in a, an occasion of fire and all these things about safety, which is good, but is physical, and also in many works we need to be aware of these um, potential dangers or the likelihood of uh, these dangers and always we are aware of what is safe and what is not and because I started saying that we are studying metaphysics we are going beyond all these things which is good but is this thing is for the physical world and as you know, we are not only a piece of meat, we have thoughts and ideas and virtues. So, faith. Sanderman says, believing is having faith in what you consider to be truth. When you start, uh, when you start believing something, it's because you think this is true. And this is the point, and this is what became faith. And if you are not sure about the definition, let me explain to you this uh, words with a story by uh, Emmett Fox. I will read to you. A lion escaped from a traveling circus. Not far away, a housewife was sewing near an open window in her living room. Suddenly, the animal leaped inward and shot past her, ran down the hall into the triangle cupboard under the stairs. The shocked woman assumed it was a donkey and uttered at the moody footprints it left on her clean floor, she cashed it into the dark closet among the brooms and pans and beat mercilessly with a broom. The animal shuddered, terrified, and the enraged woman redoubled the force of her blows. Then four men arrived with weapons and nets and recaptured the animal. The terrified lion quietly surrendered, very glad to have escaped from that terrible woman. When the woman discovered that she had been beating a lion, she fainted. So, this is what when we believe something and we think this is true, true, true. But, well, the faith is like, well, I, I will not uh, spoil my, my own activity. Let's move on. This is only was a story by Emmett Fox. So, the dictionary says about faith, great trust or confidence in something or someone. So, when you, when you have trust, when you have confidence in something, all right. And this is that it. So, when you uh, go to work, we, we, feel, we feel saved because we, we have all this stuff. But if you go a little bit beyond that, you 
you could think that, okay, yes, um, this will help. But the most important thing is you believe that you are safe. Or is this one thing, but also is the same faith that people have. I will open, I uh, will show you. In this is the, uh, the statue of Archangel Michael. And some people have faith in, in this being because they trust. And the point here I, I want to go is, is your feeling, is the virtue within you that make the difference. Yes, some people believe in a, in a suit and it's okay. And all, I'm not saying that we don't have to use it. Of course we have. But is the, is the faith is the faith in something. And also, well, we can have faith also in another being. Maybe Mother Mary. Uh, some people have faith in another person. And the, but the, the most important thing here is you believe. You have faith. And Cyril Sedenio says about faith is the confidence in everything that is going to happen is good. Always faith is related to something good. Is related to something good. We are not, we don't have faith that we will have an accident, the, the plane will crash or anything like that. Because faith is like, okay, I know that it will be good. For this reason, we have like two, uh, two phases. For one side, we have faith, which is confidence in the good. And the other, on the other hand, is the fear, which is the confidence in something that is going to happen. So at this stage, you can choose if you, if you have faith or fear. Because is your feeling actually what moves the things to see what's happened, what will happen in the future? Connie Mendes says, faith is a conviction in the good and conviction comes from knowledge. This is very, very important. I... I I have a story about that because when in metaphysics, when a student start, I start uh, a student started uh, studying metaphysics, and well, she was a student, and at that time, she she said, "Okay, I have faith. I have faith that I will take the exams and I will get a good qualification, a good um, score." But she didn't study. What do you think what happened? What was the result? She failed, of course. Because we are not talking about here about, you know, like clouds or not. We are talking about knowledge. For this reason, if we know what faith means, okay, we, we have the knowledge. This is what the key to have faith. Let me, let me give you an example. You are in a new city and you don't know how to, to get the, the public, the, how, how to arrive to the center. So you, go, you want to go to, this, to the CBD, to the, um, the hub of everything, and you don't know how. So you ask someone, even could you, you can ask Google or GPS and you believe. You believe that the route, what you are seeing is the correct. And then when you go there, the first thing is you believe. And the second thing is when you, when you actually go there is the faith. And then when you met someone else in the same situation and you need to explain you will have faith. Okay, you don't worry because it's very easy. You have to take the bus and this number and da 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 and blah blah blah. And that's it. 
this is faith. As you see, it's very, well, practical indeed. And this is the knowledge. When we said about we need knowledge because the faith the, is the conviction in something good and this conviction is or came from knowledge, this is what we have to know. You're, you are not, as I said before, you are not a piece of meat. You are tribal. We, as human beings, we are tribal. We have spirit, soul, and personality or body. And this is the image, like you can see here. What, who, who are you? Okay, this is your image. And always, always, you have to remember that the life, life is within you. And we call this the I am presence, this your spirit. And also you, you have conscious and this consciousness is um, inner self, your inner self, which is represented by this triangle, this lotus flower, as you see in the middle of the image. And also, well, the personality, of course, the personality, your appearance, your vitality, your emotions are, and your thoughts. Okay, so this is a decree because you know, ah, let me, let me go back a little bit because I love, I love this image because why? Why? Because when I'm talking about uh, things that we cannot see, this is the best way to explain something. So you can see here. I talk about faith and the faith is within you. So you believe and then you have faith. Okay, so if we talk that like this part is the appearance and here is your thoughts, and your emotions, and, and your personality, well, the, the faith, or sorry, faith is within you, and these seven um, spheres are, are um, com or yes, form or composed um, what we call the causal body. And within your capsule body, you have all the virtues. And because it's very light, but you can see here, this part is blue. And the blue is, uh, is the color which represents the faith. Okay, so the faith is within you. So, this is the decree. I now realize that there is only one power, God, within my own heart, and that power acts for me according to my faith in it. If you know, I have to go back again, if you know this image, well, you realize that life is within you, and faith is within you, and all the good is within you. So the only thing is, you have to recognize. You don't have to think anymore about illness or any, any problem, any suffering. You have to change your, your focus on your inner self and start connected and recognize this within you. And this is part of the meditation. Cody Mendes says, ignorance of the principles of creation is what makes the world fear evil. Faith is conviction, safety, but it must be based on knowledge of something. Well, someone who... Ah. Before, con before continuing, I want to... I want to share with you a story. It's about my, my, my life. Once upon a time, when I was living in Argentina, 
I had all the the yeah I I I was um I was willing to start um, a, a metaphysics uh, group in one place in uh, Coronel Swartz, which wasn't the the city where where I was living. I was living in Pihue. So. And, at, uh, and I was also, I had a, a group in Pegue, and I shared with them, um, I was so excited and I say yes, because uh, I'm, I want to uh, start uh, a group in Coronel Suarez, and I think I'm, I'm going to go this day, and you know, some details about the idea, and I was very, very excited. And one of my friends who, who studied, and she said, she asked me, Oh, Noemi, and how are you going to go? Because I, I had to travel by the route. Oh, I said, because at that, at that time, I didn't have a car. Oh, I didn't think about that, I said. And she said, no worries. I, I pick you up and I, I take you. Oh, thank you. So, what was the point of this, this story? When you have faith in, in a project or something and you are focused on, I'm going to do this and I, I don't care what others say, so blah, blah, blah. This, this uh, force within you makes all things happen and things come to you. But on the other hand, some people think that, okay, if I have the money, I would, I would do that. For example, an excuse money. So they are waiting for money. Or another, another, another issue is like, okay, when I have time, because I'm so busy now at the moment, when I have time, I will do that. I will study. Again, you will never have time because you have, you are, um, you have to to order all the, all your life. And another excuse, oh yeah, but uh, I'm not, you know, I want, I really want, but I don't know. Again, all these things are is fear fear that you are not able or you are not uh, capable to do that and also the all of them is fear so first of all the the blue the the first thing is the decision okay and after that it's faith faith that what you want of course must be something good we are talking about something good and then yes so oh i will do that this is your faith in something that you want to do. Okay, and when Connie Mendes says about we need to know, uh, be aware of the law of the creation, the principles, this is, she is talking about the seven universal principles. The seven universal principles are laws that are inexorable fulfilled. If you respect them, you will live in harmony. On the contrary, you experience suffering. These were given by Hermes, Trismegistus, and they are explained in the book The Kivalion, and also in the book um, Pillars of Metaphysics by Robin Sevenio. He explains a little bit. He explains a lot, not a little bit. He explains about that. And the seven universal principles are, mm, okay, let me. Mentalism and cause and effect, rhythm and vibration, polarity and generation, and correspondence. We need to know about these uh, principles and be aware of that and follow the rules. Um, as well, before this activity, uh, Philomena was talking about you have to know the rules and you will succeed. Well, you have to know about the principles, the universal principles, 
to know how life works. To be succeed. So, taking into consideration these seven laws, we can decree this. I'm not afraid, I have faith. This is the mentalism, what you think and believe it manifests. So, this together. Vibration, you are connected with this. You have to repeat sometimes, you have to repeat many times. I'm not afraid, I have faith. The vibration, the polarity, you are, you are on the faith side. Remember, there is faith and fear. Which is your side? You have to choose one. <laughs> And generation, because this attitude, this decree, makes a works in, in yourself, within you. Okay, so we can repeat together. I'm not afraid. I have faith. So, for example, this situation. You have an exams. You have exams. So, why are you nervous? Okay, so... You're nervous because you are memorizing something and you think you are going to forget it. So we can say this decree. I'm not afraid. I have faith. And remember, the faith is based on knowledge. So you need to study, of course. But remember this attitude. And when you are going to take the exam, remember, I have I already studied. So this is why why you will feel confident you will are confident because you already studied and i have faith i'm going to do a, a very good exam another situation why should you call to say that you have just arrived at home and in that case doesn't matter your age because i know people over 40, yeah, so they are not the babies, they are not babies, and they still calling their parents when they arrive at home because they need to travel. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, when you go from one city to another. But I'm thinking, after, after seeing this scenario, what's happened every day? Well, at, at the moment, Mostly, um, the vast majority of population is working at home. But before, or oh, maybe I don't know, in a few days, we are going going back to travel. So the community, the commuting. So we need to travel to go to work. And what what's going on? So every day you are going to work. You have to call your mom. Say, hey, mom, I'm alright. What is what is the foundation? Is because the people have to you have to call because the other person believes that something bad could happen to you during the trip i have to say that uh from personal experience i had the same situation i had i had parents and they they asked me the same thing when, when I was in Argentina, I, 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 I was living uh, alone. I was living alone. But my mom, if I, she knew uh, that uh, I'm going to travel to another city, um, mostly for uh, metaphysics activities, she said, oh, please call me when you arrive. And I said, no, mom, because I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I will be okay. I will be okay. If something bad happened, you will you will know. You will find out. And that's it. And I encourage her to have faith that everything will be okay. So we can say, I'm not afraid. I have faith. Because if you call back, say, only to say, okay, mom, I've arrived, good night, doesn't make any sense. And some people suffer about their bodies and think, oh, why my body is not like this? So because they, 
they are looking at um, I don't know models or actress or people around them and they 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 look at themselves and they don't like what they see well we can if we have faith I will I will um, share with you this degree it's not my degree I didn't invent this it is by Sandra Mann and he said if we do this every day you will see miracles but remember is mentalism is thought so we are going to do the decree but also believe but if you, if you don't believe start doing this decree the belief is like you uh how can i explain that because you don't need to believe in the beginning it's not about that but at the same time you need to believe that what you are saying here is true i hope it makes sense okay so we can do this degree if you want to if you want to do this we can do this together through the intelligence and beauty which i am I command you, you are talking to your body, to take on perfect beauty of form, for I am that beauty in every cell of which you are composed. Another issue is about, well, the current situation. And some people ask about, should I wear a mask? Shouldn't I wear a mask? I should wash my hands, I should, I don't know. But one thing is be um, sensitive and sensible, I mean, be sensible and using the mask if you need, uh, or, you know, um, so make with um, common sense, I mean, with common sense. But another issue is, when you have faith, sorry, when you are afraid of, oh no, I don't want to touch because this is not the correct attitude. So, the, 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 what we can do? Well, we can say this degree. I'm not afraid. I have faith. This is for, um, remember, we are talking about metaphysics. So, this is your, okay uh how can i explain our body uh, has immune system okay but the immune system is related to your mood your attitude all right so i'm this decree i'm not afraid i have faith is your mental immune system if that thing exists and this is connected with your immune system physically, your, your body, okay? Because at the end of the day, your body is commanded by your thoughts. And your thoughts take the energy from the life. Well, something like this, for example, like nowadays, um, or people, or you can um, see on the news that, yes, we are in a recovering or a session, and this kind of words is because people doesn't know about uh, the rhythm, okay? So we need to be aware of the law of rhythm. If we know that everything goes and flows, goes and flows. Okay, what do we have to do? The correct attitude and saying, I'm not afraid, I have faith. You don't have to talk about any recession. You don't have, of course, we will we, we watch the news. We are aware of what's going on in the country or in the world. 
you know? You know what I mean? But at the same time, you shut the door to everything like that. You don't want it, okay? I'm watching the news every single day. But when I finish the news, I'm, I, I'm start to degree. I don't accept it. I don't want it. I'm not afraid of that. I have faith. And even sometimes it's, it's a matter of faith only because when you need something and your, your emotions start to say, no, you, you cannot, or the appearance, sometimes it's the appearance of uh, what are, happened. Um, okay, so be focused on this decree. I'm not afraid. I have faith. It's only a matter of practice. I cannot say any more. <laughs> and another thing is when we need to change. And uh, particularly some people, uh, because every um, everyone do the same. So, okay, we follow the same. But sometimes, sometimes we need to change for our good. And this is the point when you, when you think, I'm going the same, I'm going to do the same, or I will change. The same means that you are in, the, in your comfort zone, okay? And you know that and everything is perfect because you know uh, all the details, like the weakness and the strength of that. You know, but when you change, you open the door to uh, new things. So you are aware of something new. Your conscious expands. So when you have to change or when you have to do a decision, well, this attitude will help. I'm not afraid. I have faith. Do you want to do it? I'm not afraid. I have faith. As you see, we, we repeat this degree, <laughs> maybe the, thir the last 30 minutes, because I want to, you to remember. Okay, and we are not alone. We are never, we never are alone. So sometimes we know. Um, it's like when you have an issue with your body and you need the help of a doctor because Yes, maybe you have a uh, you have some medicine at home and you take a pill or something like that. But sometimes the situation requires a little more uh, help, and this is what we ask for help to the defender of faith, and he is Archangel Michael. So we can we can do this together. Let's do this. Archangel Michael, cut us free from the thoughts and feelings that are not God's immaculate concept for us. Thank you. We thank you. And Archangel Michael says, I often hear currents of life saying, currents of life uh, is the same as says human beings, but be remember we go because we are alive. They they they, they uh, name us um, as currents of life. Oh, this is all very good for Lord Michael, for Jesus, or for any other great power. But what can I do? Limited as I am, and in poor health. Perhaps having already spent half my life. This is excuse, of course. He excuses, excuses and excuses. And I think Michael says, you can qualify life. Your ability to express or send forth thought and feeling is God acting in you. You having free will 
It is entirely up to you to qualify the energy sent forth in your thought and feeling and determine, determine how it shall act for you. In other words, you have two big tools, your thought and your feeling. And if you manage that, you will be the master of any circumstances. So, remember that. Doesn't matter the appearance, the scenario, okay? Most people think that if the scenario change, they will change and it is impossible, all right? So we need to change first our thoughts and feelings, and then the scenario will change. And some, if we need a help, if we need help, well, we can invoke Archangel Michael because he exists. Okay, so we can decree this together. As, as I said in the beginning, we are going to work together today. A lot of decrees, decrees. Okay, let's do that. I am the faith in the all power of God in me to direct me, protect me, illuminate me, help me, supply me, sustain me, and do whatever I require to have done. <clears throat> this is part of the daily meditations, especially on Sunday. So you have to repeat this every Sunday, but also every time. Instead of thinking about, oh, I'm going to be sick, I'm not sure, I'm afraid of, stop thinking about that and read this degree. Or if you look at your, uh, you know, your pocket, your wallet, and you are not sure about what's going on in the future, or you look at your bank account, don't worry and read this decree. Uh, so every time, focus, be focused on this decree. And this is the image, the representation of Archangel Michael, okay? And uh, he is a being of light. Of course, this is not what we are going to see him uh, on the street, walking with his sword and his uh, shell. He is, this is the representation because this, this is energy and we can use this energy for our good. As you see the decree, through the decree, your throat, and uh, use the sword, okay? All right. Uh, bigger, so we can see very clear our gentleman Michael. Okay, and this is the one of the activities. Okay, let me show my face. <laughs> Have you used a knife? Okay. I'm not sure about a sword, but you, I think you, you watched uh, some movies or something. I knew the sword you have to handle, okay? So, remember, we are talking about metaphysics. Things that we cannot see or touch. But this is energy. And I am here sitting, explaining this to you because I use this sword and works. Um, uh, at that time I was, I, I'm, I'm sorry because I want to share this little experience, uh, but I had a, a, a toxic relationship. Um, the person who was with, uh, she, he was a very nice person, he, he was my partner, but at the same time, he pushed me to decide metaphysics or him and I used this saw and I said Ajanda Michael I need help free free me 
from this situation. And I'm not saying to the the this the we broke up, broke broke down, broke down. But it wasn't awful. Of course, like you know, a relationship. But in this day and age, we call each other, we talk each other, and we have a kind of relationship. So this sort doesn't mean like you are going to kill the other. Okay, it's something like. Is energy, and you are going to do this harm in harmony in a harmony way. So, this is what you have to do. And another thing before explain this, because yes, I want to. I don't know uh, your mental process, so I want to uh, explain in very detail, so you can understand. Because of course, you don't have to believe. I I hope. You don't believe me. And if you have the opportunity, use it. Use the soul of a gender Michael. The other day I was watching a video about quantum physics. And some studios <clears throat> says that when a person is watching, for example, this, this uh, glass of water, okay? I'm watching this now, right now. And after a few minutes, close my eyes and I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, the, on the glass of water, in my brain works the same areas. So the studio it was about light, the, the light of the brain and the, this area of brain was um, activated as uh, when I was watching at the glass. So what I'm saying here is even if you don't see the sore on your hand, but you think you have on your hand this sore, you are using this sore. Okay? All right. So this is, uh, I'm reading the first I'm reading and then we, we do that. I'm Archangel Michael's blue floor that cut us free and you have to cut and free like a cross okay the negative thing i will I, it became positive cut uh, cut us free cut us free and because it's nine times we are going to do three per, uh, three times three cut us free 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 Cut us free. And we continue the delivery. Okay? Well, I give you a moment if you have something in your life that you want to be free of. Uh, um, you want to be free from that. So, could be a relationship, could be a situation, could be any, any condition in your life. Anything. Okay. And take this sword on your hand on your right hand okay and let's let's do this together i am archangel michael's blue sword that cuts us free 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 from all misqualified energy Thank you, Father. And another tool is very useful, I'm using all the time, is be protected. Of course, when, when it's uh, cold, the weather is cold, you use a jacket. But the, in terms of energy, we, we don't have a jacket. But we can use this wall. Can you imagine a wall? Is the wall protect from from a lot of things. Okay, so this wall will protect you against everything less than perfection. And it's very important to repeat this degree every day, not only once. Let's do this together. I am protected by the blue wall of a chain de Michael against everything less than perfection. 
and also you can use if you want you can use this wall the energy of Archangel Michael because remember we are talking about an energy you invoke this energy to um, irradiate um, at home with your things maybe your car everything And then, and <laughs> this is the end. Okay, so the end of the activity, but we have more activities. We have uh, the activity um, by Ruben Cedeno at uh, 2 a.m. Uh, Sydney time, but at 11 a.m. Mexico time. And well, as you see, many activities. The next activity will continue with Juanita Montealegre. Um, she is in Switzerland, so we are moving from Argentina to Australia, now to Switzerland, and and so on. <laughs> well, I hope this is helpful, and if I introduce to you today um, Archangel Michael, well, uh, I'm glad to do that. Thank you very much for joining this activity. Have a lovely day because today is Archangel Michael's day and thank you. Have a good day.